What's up, y'all? I want to start this video out with a little backstory on the hike. Um, it has taken me quite a while to go through this Signal Mountain video. And honestly, it's because I was still a little upset because this was the last hike for my OC, the original Cross Trek. On the way home is when I totaled it out. In 2020, we had a couple big fires around here, the East Troublesome Fire and also the Cameron Peak Fire. So it was, it was a bad year. This was the following year in 2021 and all over the place were these people that had made big thank you signs for the firefighters. I mean, these signs were like all over the place. And so what I was doing is I was going around and I was taking pictures of all the different signs and then I was going to make a montage in, in a later video. And you can see that montage on the Cameron Peak video. That's when I finally did it. But to make a long story short, I don't know how many days of hiking in a row this was for me, but I was really tired. We were, we were driving back. I was just kind of in a daze, <laughs> really wasn't paying attention. And Chris was with me and he kept pointing out the signs as I was driving by and missing them. So I'd stop and I'd throw my car in reverse and I'd, you know, reverse back. This is, keep in mind, this is on a dirt road in the middle of nowhere. There's no other cars around, so I don't have to worry about running into anybody. So I just hit the brakes, I throw it in reverse, get back to the, you know, the sign, I take my picture and then we keep going. And on the third one, Chris is like, you missed one. I was like, okay. And I hit the brakes and I just, I, I slam it into reverse, but on the, on the final one, I was on this little tiny curve. <laughs> and, and instead of looking in the rear view mirror, I was like looking at the side trees, making sure I was staying parallel with them. And I was like, oh, I'm not parallel to these ones. And so I slammed on the brakes too late. Boom! I mean, I hit this tree so hard in reverse. Ripped my whole bumper off. Smashed the frame of my car onto the wheel. So, you know, I tried to put the bumper in my car, but it was just way too big. That thing was huge. So I had to, I had to leave that there. Um, and then luckily there was this weird like metal easel out in front of these people's houses. And I had to, I mean, it was like the perfect tool. I was using that as a big lever and I pried the frame off the, off the car. I got the wheel so it, you know, it was free and we, we drove on out of there. Um, but that, that was, that was a bad day. That was a really bad day. And, uh, it's just taken me a long time to do the video, but there's a bright side to the story, a very bright side to the story. I went out and I got a new cross trek. And on the first ride out with the new cross trek was taking it up into Wyoming, up into the snowy range. Boom. I got a big rock chip on my windshield in, in the dark. I mean, I probably hadn't even been driving for an hour and a half. First, first ride, just got the insurance on it. Everything was good to go. First hike, crack, broken windshield. And I saw the big crack in the windshield and I, and I got upset. So I turned around. I was like, I don't even want to hike anyway. So turned around, started driving back. Boom, I got a second crack in the windshield. And that's when I pretty much lost my mind. That is when I had a little, I mean, it wasn't a little, it was a major meltdown. I was so upset. I was like, I can't do anything right. You know, I was so mad. I just was like blaming the hikes. I was like, every time I go hiking, you know, all this stuff happens to me. Anyways, I was real upset. I was like, I don't know what I'm going to do. You know, I don't even have money to buy this original, you know, the second cross trek. Now I got to get the windshield fixed. So I started to go fund me and people donated well over $5,000 to that, which is probably the coolest thing to ever happen to me in my whole life really cool and just to let you guys know that the, the new cross trek is totally paid thanks to your guys's help it is 100 percent paid off right now i don't have to worry about making any more car payments it's done i've got a brand new cross trek and i love it so much i really just want to thank everybody once again for all the help all the support because without you guys i would still be in just major debt i probably wouldn't have done half the hikes that i've done this this entire last year i'd just be sitting around being depressed, um, probably just working, 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 trying to pay everything off. But like I said, thanks to you guys, I didn't have to do that. I was still able to go out and do almost 30 hikes last summer. And I thought last summer was one of my best ones yet. I got some really awesome hikes in. I got to go to some new destinations 
And that's all thanks to you guys. All thanks to you guys. If it wasn't for you, it wouldn't have happened. Straight up. So thank you all so much. And here is the Signal Mountain video from the day I crashed my car. Hope you enjoy it. Good morning. Chris and I are here. Pulled off the Pingree Park Road inside the Roosevelt National Forest. And I believe we are just outside the Pingree Park CSU campus. And today, we're going to go for Signal Mountain. I think we're looking at over six miles out with over a 2,000 foot elevation gain. I'm not really sure. I didn't even look at the stats this morning. My bad. Well, according to this map right here, it looks like it is 5.2 miles out to Signal Mountain. However, for some reason, I remember this map being wrong. I don't know. And the official start time, 6.40 in the morning. Looks like we're hitting a burned area. This is damage from the Cameron Peak fire. We've just come up to this trail split and I fear that this sign is not gonna be around much longer. So just so you know, horses to the right, foot traffic to the left. We're about two miles into the hike. We've been hiking for about 50 minutes or so. And it looks like we're about ready to enter the Comanche Peak Wilderness. We just came up to the sign here and this whole middle section has been broken off and was laying on the ground. So we stuck it up there and then we wedged it with some sticks. And I think we're finally getting ready to hit the sunlight up there. Finally. Oh, all right. Oh, it feels so good when the sun hits your face. Except now I got that sunspot. We've made it up here to the big rock, and this is at an elevation of about 10,200, which means from here, we're looking at about another thousand feet in vertical elevation gain. And it comes pretty quick too. We don't have a lot of distance left. Took us about two hours and 25 minutes to get up here. And we're getting close now. And that rock is huge. I mean, it's like really big. This is the most mushroomed out hike I've ever seen. Look at the size of that thing. It's gigantic. And why does that remind me of that character in Star Wars? in the cantina. In just over two hours and 50 minutes, we're up here to the saddle. And what's that sign say? Nothing. I was feeling pretty tired earlier and I was dragging, but now I'm energized, I'm feeling good. And I think it's because the sun came out. It charges me up, 
gets me pumped. I'm like the guy from Superman 4. And it looks like we're running into some more burned area. We're up here getting close to the summit. Darn. I was hoping this was going to be over. I'm hoping this is short lived. I think it will be. The firefighters did an amazing job of stopping the fire down here, especially right by the CSU campus. Wow. In the entire east side of Signal Mountain is torched. I almost feel like somebody came up here to start the fire. Like it's all to the left side of the trail. That's weird. We just busted through the trees and that's gonna be the home stretch. We're gonna take a quick three minute break, get powered up, then we're gonna blast this out. We're looking at about another tenth of a mile. This thing does not go quietly. And these last thousand vertical feet are pretty brutal. But it's totally worth it. Look at these views. This is awesome. That's looking down to South Signal Mountain. I'm really not feeling that today. We'll probably pass. But look at the burned area. I can't wait to get to the top and look at all the surrounding peaks because you can see a lot of them from up here. Signal Mountain has some decent prominence. And in three hours and 45 minutes, we're up here, summit of Signal Mountain. And you can see how the fire just swept right through this area. And then it really started to pick up steam right around the Buckhorn Road area. I think that's Lookout Mountain right over there and it looks 100% scorched. Just totally burned up, which is a real shame because that was a pretty hike.
It's about 12 o'clock right now, which means we've been sitting up here on the summit for nearly two hours, but it's just such a beautiful day. However, the wind is starting to pick up, so it's time to go. It's time to head on back. And we're on the way back down. We're about ready to hit the trees and this thing is steep coming down like i said the last thousand feet going up is no joke Ideally, you don't want to be hiking uphill at the end of a 12 mile hike, but sometimes it just works out that way. Oh my goodness. And we're just about back. It's almost 3.15. So that means it took almost three hours and 15 minutes to come down. Woo! And that's a long hike. Well, I hope you enjoyed that one. Until the next hike, y'all. Peace.